Mr. GT here, and we're going to be talking about Picorni Engineering's MCP box. It's actually a button box that you can actually expand with other modules as well. But right now, I just built this, the button box. So let's go review it. We'll talk about it and see how I use it. All right, come on. The MCP button box, guys, it's an easy DIY. If you want a button box, I highly recommend building yourself one for Picorni Engineering. They actually sell the PCB with the buttons already soldered onto it, as you can see here. These are the actual buttons. Uh, I actually received this PCB for free. They sponsored this one, which was great. I built the Ferrari FGT wheel from Picorni Engineering. I wanted to build this button box because I wanted one. So I did build it. I 3D printed all the parts, as you can see here. This is the light guard. Here's the face plate. I 3D printed the housing. It has four USBs, one in, three out. Uh, this is a modular part, so you can have one mounted to the side. As you can see here, you can mount the modular parts to the side. You can actually have encoders, or there are MCP encoders and an MCP uh, ignition button. So you can build those later, add them later, or I just didn't want it the button box, I have the button box. So let's put it together. I bought this uh, off of Amazon and then I have my power here. I gotta open this up a little bit. That should slide right in. If I open it up enough, there we go. So I just want it from here. So we gotta keep tightening. Come on. Push that up. Right now I don't I gotta get make mounts for my eyebrows. Alright, so I want it somewhere like that. And that's it. That's it. It's it's there now. So the pros and cons on this thing. There's actually more pros than cons. The one con that I do have is I wish there was some kind of embroidery around uh, where the sticker placement would be. It would help to really center the stickers and the buttons. The pros is this is very economical button box you can 3D print. You can buy the PCB and the stickers through Picorni Engineering at their website and you can 3D print the rest of the parts. Now, down the road, you are like, hey, I really like this button box. I really want a nicer one. You literally can buy an aluminum housing, the aluminum uh, front plate, and then the, I believe it would be like the, the aluminum diffuser inside. All that could be aluminum purchased at Picorni Engineering. So I would definitely 
If you want to upgrade, you can definitely do that. For me, I like it the way it is. Down the road, will I upgrade it to aluminum? Yeah, I'll do that. I actually like their products. I'm, I've been using this button box for a few weeks now. Um, if you've watched me stream, I've been using this button box. So you, you, you'll see me using it more. If uh, I didn't like it, I wouldn't even have it on my rig. I wouldn't even use it. Or if I don't have it on my rig, it's because I found something else that I liked more and I wanted to use that. But for right now, I've actually been use, using this uh, button box for quite a while now, and I absolutely love it. With that being said, thanks for stopping by guys. Make sure to follow, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have a button box, you don't have a button box, why you thinking about getting one if you do want one, and if you're willing to actually build one. Let me know. I'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts are. See you guys on the next one.